Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop manipulation tutorials and today I'll show you this type of manipulation and let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. So at first I have to analyze the photo and what I have done actually. So I'm just made the smart object and here the background actually this uh, moon and the star background this one and the hill uh, this one and the shadow uh, here is the girl and here some color adjustment actually the light adjustment and here the other things and finally i use the levels and used here uh, the gradient map so let's start the tutorial at first i'm turning off this one and going to the file and taking new options and taking new the square shape artboard or the blank uh, space that is 2560 and 20, 2560 and you can take it 2000 pixel and 2000 pixel it's totally up to you and hit the create button take the white background at first and then going to the file and place embedded options so here uh, i just uh, got some images from the unsplash and uh, the uh, like a deviantart.com like that so i'll provide you the stock image download link in my video description at first the here the sky i'll make the adjustment or fit with the skin or fit with the artboard and hit the tick button and then right press and create the restylize the layer that means this one is not link up and going to the file again and going to the place embedded options here the moon i downloaded this one clean png and then provide with the download link in my video description and after that making it into screen that means you are getting only the moon over here and the star that is appearing from the background and again right press and restylize the layer and giving the name here the stars and this one is moon it will help you out to uh, edit when you just complete it or in future that's good and then going to the file and place embedded options from here uh, this one this heel going to the place options and hit the tick button and after that going to the quick selection tool and select this stone quickly you can select it randomly that is not a big deal and making it zoom and deselect the area which is unnecessary and after that select and mask options and one thing is that i'm using the photoshop 2021 and 2020 you are getting these options over there otherwise you have to go to the uh, select and going to the like a select and mask press and shift and hold it and then you'll get the uh, window or like that so from here the smooth options and the setup is like that 66 pixel for the radius and the smoothness 51 feather 2.6 pixel and contrast 26 percentage is shifting two percent and then new layer with the layer mask and hit the ok button that means this one is mask and press controller command t right press and making it flip horizontal and then just making it like that and making it more bigger so i think this position is good and hit the tick button that's good here is some uh, white portion you have to uh, reduce the white portion like that so you have to be careful when you are using the white portion so select this portion that means the uh, hill and selecting or deleting this one giving the name hill rock or whatever it is select this one and then going to the brush tool and then making it black and then reduce the white portion okay that's good that's good now i'll just uh, uh, make or sit up the uh, like girl before that you have to make the moon may more bigger uh, yeah that's fine now just save it before when you are saving this giving the name manipulation and hit the ok button that's fine and now i'm going to the file and open up and i'll import the girl this actually this and here that's fine and going to the select options select subject options and the subject will select it and here some unnecessary options in our selection press the option button and deselect all the stuffs and now you are getting the only the subject is selected and 
after that here the select and mask options select over there and you are getting the smooth or like uh, the background is removed and the setup is same that is 65 pixel or 56 pixel for the radius and the smoothness 51 feather 2.6 contrast 26 percent and a shifting minus 2 and from here i'm using here the new layer with the layer mask and hit ok so we are getting the transparent background taking this one dragging and by dropping over here press ctrl or command t making it more smaller right press flip horizontal and making it a little bit smaller yeah placing over there and that's good and here some white border could appear mm, yeah white or black border you have to reduce that select this mask and go to the brush tool and just brush over here it will be gone and upper side as well so you have to be careful when you are doing the selection and the deselection process and now i'll take this heel and the girl into the downside it will make more sense yeah that's good and now time to add some shadows and add some lights over here upper side of the heel giving the name the girl okay that's fine upper side of the heel layer taking the new layer and go to the brush tool and making it black and after that making it more smaller and brush over here don't brush it too much and you should be take time or when you are brushing over there the opacity must be down like this so you can now brush it properly it will help you out to make the shadow more uh, realistic that's good and now i'll adjust the light just uh, selecting only this image and going to the filter camera filter from here i'll add some uh, like uh, basic options from here the highlight will be up and the shadow and the exposure a little bit up and hit ok so now this one is good our photo is uh, ready actually now time to add some uh, like uh, effects going to the gradient map options from here uh, i'm using here basics from here uh, the blues from the blues portion any kind of things you can use going to make it the overlay options and make the opacity 10 percent that's fine and again going to the color lookup options from here going to the uh, foggy night yeah that's good and making the fill color down that's fine and now saving this again and now i will apply the uh, like uh, like nick collection and selecting all the stuffs and making it group and making it into smart object now i'll go to the filter and nick collection and color effects pro 4 this color effects pro 4 that is another plugins for the photoshop and when you are using this one you will getting the bunch of preset bunch of filters which is really good and cool and from here i'm using the cross processing from here lots of method over here which one is perfect for your photography or your design uh, is totally up to you i'm using here uh, like little bit warm type tone which is really helpful to me and that is the c04 and hit the ok button it will take time to load up and providing the final output to you so here you are getting the final image now uh, you can save it out now i will save this one into jpeg version i'm saving this one making it to jpeg and saving it out and hit the ok button our design is ready so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share it to your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section if you want to get the more these type of manipulation tutorial please do subscribe and hit the bell, bell icon until the next video i am signing out today Stay safe, stay at home, keep me in your prayers as well. Bye-bye.